What's up everybody, Alex from Twin Gaming TV back with another MLB The Show 17 video. Today we're going to be playing hopefully the first two games and winning the first two games of our worst overall draft. We didn't get like that bad of a team. Our bullpen, we only have righty, so it's terrible there. We, we never will have the, I mean, we'll have the advantage, but like we'll never be able to have the advantage against the lefty, so that's going to really suck. And overall, it's not a great team, but it was a lot better than I was expecting for my worst overall draft. Yesterday, I asked you guys for the comment question of the day, where was I going last night? And my family and I, we went to a concert. So if you guessed concert, you got the comment question of the day. The band we saw was Vincent and Daly. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. They're like a bluegrass uh gospel country music type group i think i played some of their music in the intro today it was actually really cool they're really really good at their instruments which was awesome to watch especially live i've only been to two concerts now and uh that's actually today's comment question of the day so i've been to two concerts now who did i go see in concert the first time i ever went to see a concert try and guess that down in the comment section below for a chance at today's or tomorrow's comment question shout out of the day but we're owing with this team looking to go one and with this first game 2-0 with this video. Uh, let's get into it. We're playing the ALMAO. He has Adam Eden, 93 Cal Ripken, 97 Posey, 91 Player of the Mother Ryan Zimmerman, 85 Didi Gregorius Live Series, Malky Cabrera, Eddie Rosario, and 73 Dale Murphy with Jeremy Guthrie on the mound. We got Jake Arrieta on the mound where the home team looking to go 1-0. Oh man, I thought maybe we were going to make the diving play, but that's his first hit of the game. One out, one runner on. I think we're going to bring in Cody Allen now, our diamond reliever. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see if we're able to do okay with an only righty bullpen. Double play. Really? I don't understand how that happens. I mean, I, I didn't look at the exit velocity right there, so I don't know how hard it was hit. Maybe it was hit extremely hard. Um, who do we have at third base? Chris Owings. Uh, I feel like Chris Owings is a decent defender. I don't know his stats, but that just kind of sucks, man. That's not a fun way to, uh, like, Cody Allen's first pitch was going to be an inning-ending double play. Now we got the second out, but just, you know, if he scores a run in this first inning, I'm going to be a little mad. I thought we got him. I really thought we got him right there. 2-2 two, two count, 2-1, two both in scoring position, 2 down here in the inning. There we go, got out of the inning, but wow. That that just, after the missed inning ending double play, I was, I was a little bit nervous. I thought we might allow something there. All right, Travis Shaw, we're batting 429, two homers with him. I'm really hoping he can have a good battle royale for us. We're going to need him too. And uh, first pitch he sees, sending it the other way. That one is bouncing in front of the wall. One hop off the wall. A double for Travis Shaw, sending it the other way, man. This card is a beast. If you're luck looking for like a budget guy or in a silver round, you see Travis Shaw. I would definitely draft him, man. This dude is an absolute monster. I know a lot of you guys were telling me in the comments yesterday how much you like Travis Shaw uh, and how like that you thought he's actually a pretty solid pick, which we were mentioning in the video. So uh, I'm glad you guys like him. I'm glad I like him. And if you're looking for a good silver, Travis Shaw could be your guy. There we go, baby. 50 speed. Should we send him? Full send? No, we're not, we're not going full send yet. No way. In comes Neil Walker. This dude, I was also talking about how much of a beast he was for me in MLB The Show 16. I was really hoping he was going to do something there, so they're going to be like, and an MLB 17. But no, we're seeing the ball well. I just I didn't move my PCI down on that pitch, and I really should have. Uh, but we're, hit, we're hitting the ball well. We were making some good contact, watching for some good pitches uh, for some of the batters. And uh, we just need to not allow any runs now. Adam... Cody Allen. I was about to say Adam Eden on the mound, but Cody Allen on the mound just needs to keep pitching how he is. All right, this is another guy that I wanted to pay attention to. Willie Calhoun, the uh, future stars. I believe someone said that he was part of the U Darvish trade, so now he's on the Rangers. He, he was on the Dodgers, but now he's on the Rangers, and uh, people were saying that he's a pretty good card, and, you know, second pitch he sees, sends one into the outfield. Pretty solid base set leading off the inning for us. That's my second. Uh, I was about to say that's my second ending, ending, ending double play of the game so far. Both of them hit to first base, but that was a little bit of a weird throw. I'm assuming that's an error. 
by uh, by this guy. But that was a little bit of a weird throw. And now, instead of the inning being over, we're getting two runs, taking the lead two to nothing here in the bottom of the second. So we're three outs away, a save away. Cody Allen probably still going to pitch him anyways. But we're, we're three outs away from getting the victory. Cody Allen probably just going to leave him in because there's only one down in the inning. Maybe bunt, sacrifice, something like that. But that's a huge error by him right there. That sucks. I always, like, in situations like that, it's, it's always... In my mind, I want to know if they're using like button accuracy or what fielding style they're using. Just because with button accuracy, if you get it in the green meter, that doesn't happen. So uh, either he's using that and didn't get it in the green or he's using something else and just got unlucky by getting an air there. But that sucks, man. I feel bad for him. All right, we're three outs away. Colby Rasmus pinch hitting. I didn't see what version it was. Um, it doesn't matter. We're OP, dude. We're so good at pitching. Just kidding, but... Pitching is, pitching is you guys, you guys know if you've been watching for a little while, pitching is not my strong suit, and uh, we might have to take Cody Allen out here, the tying run is already up to bat with nobody on in the inning, that really sucks, Adam Eden, a lefty, we don't have a lefty, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Cody Allen in for, uh, for the lefty, and then I'm gonna try Peter Moyling, just cause I really, I think I used that card, when I went 12 and 0, I want to say I did. I don't obviously like I don't remember, uh, but I just I, I have a feeling that I did. So we're gonna see if he can do well for us. Cody Allen has been pitching really well. I love I love to pitch hanging to Colby Rasmus, and uh, so you know it's it's not his fault. It's my fault. But that's just always the kind of issues that I have with pitching. Let's go! Huge strikeout. I thought I could get him swinging on that one. Cal Ripken up to bat. Cody Allen getting tired. He has two diamonds in a row. I believe a 93 Cal and 97 Posey. So we really need to uh, get out of the inning here. Got the Submariner. Yeah, I, def I don't know if it was in the 12-0 run, but I definitely used this guy on my other account, whether it was a flashback or his live series. I don't even know if this is flashback or live series, but he's so good. I love this card. He's stealing. I wanted to strike him out, throw him out, but dude, this Peter Moylan, along with the Cody Allen, I think are really going to do well for us here in this BR as we get our second strike out of the inning, and we are only one out away from being 1-0 to start off, which is, it's not it's not super hard to do, but I really struggle in like the probably first three games of a BR. I always struggle quite a bit, and it sucks, so we just, we need to, I, I want to be 6-0. I want to start off this BR 6-0, and oh, then I'll be happy, and obviously just taking it one game at a time here with game number one, now that we are going to be 1-0. Oh. I'm, I'm talking just because I really wanted it to be like, as I was talking, go 1-0. Oh. So GG to this guy, we're 1-0. Oh. 2-1, to one, our lead's cut in half. Uh, the go-ahead run is up to bat, tying run in scoring position, still two down. I got greedy. You guys now will either see a run scored or an out for the next clip. There we go, baby. Hitting it to the third baseman. Cleanly making the play. Getting him out by just like one step. We're 1-0 oh with this team. Let's go 2-0 oh in this video. I'm sorry about talking so much during this game. I just, I don't know what came over me, man. I was talking a lot, but let's go 2-0. Oh. We're playing the Raleigh Dirtbags. He is 90 D. Gordon, Alex Bregman, 99 at Ted Williams, Mark Trumbull, 83 Pierzynski, 82 Ernie Banks, 82 Kenny Lofton, and 87 Tony Perez, Brett Overholtz on the mound. We got Brett Cease on the mound. The Battle of the Bretts. Hey, shout out to TD Barrett. And uh, we're looking to go 2-0, man. The first game was pretty good for us. Made a couple mistakes pitching. Trying not to make any of this game. Trying to go 2-0. This might be a stupid decision, but like I said, and like you guys know, and probably can tell from the title of this video, we have an alrighty bullpen. And uh, this guy has 99 Ted Williams on deck. So... Brett Cecil, our lefty starting pitcher, is going to be staying in the game. He's already gotten the first two outs, and now he has the advantage. Common versus a 99 overall, but he, he has the advantage over Ted Williams in terms of handedness. So let's see if he can get us out of the inning, get a 1-2-3 inning. He can! So I do not regret leaving Brett Cecil in at all, man. That's awesome. Now it's probably going to be on to the all righty bullpen for the rest of the game but that's a huge first inning from our starter man i'm so glad nothing happened i thought that was going to be gone man a little bit early on it jose bautista smacking that one we're seeing the ball pretty well today 
I mean, that one was nearly down the middle. But we're seeing the ball well today just a little bit early on that one. And uh, this Jose Bautista... I have a 250 average, one homer, two RBIs, probably not a huge sample size, but I've never done that well with Jose Bautista's in MLB The Show. I don't know what it is, but I, I never do super great with him. As I ground out there, probably swinging a bad pitch, but it's just weird that I've struggled with him. I don't know if anybody else has felt like that, but even since like MLB 15, I've always kind of struggled with him. Did Travis Shaw just go lefty on lefty? Let's go, baby. Travis Shaw going lefty, dude. One to nothing lead. Travis Shaw has been a beast for us entirety of uh, MLB The Show 17, apparently. But now that we got him in this VR, he's been doing awesome. He hits a solo home run to give us a lead, man. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving Travis Shaw in this VR. And I'm really glad I drafted him. Oh, baby. That changeup from Cody Allen is nasty. He was very late on it. Uh, so, you know, if, if he just wouldn't have swung, it would have been a ball. But that changeup just, it drops through the zone, man. That's such a good pitch. I'm really thankful for that wall right there. Uh, because that, we might get him at second. Okay, he's not going. That could have easily been a home run. If it was a little bit more to the right, I'm glad it wasn't, though. Because I'm, it, it would have been tied, man. Of course I'm glad it's not a home run. <laughs> There we go, baby, getting out of the inning following that. We got an out, then a hit, and then an out, and now another out. So it wasn't following like a leadoff base hit or anything, but we were able to get out of the inning. Willie Calhoun, that's his first name, right? Yeah, Willie Calhoun up to bat. I'm so far really liking this card. He's only had one at bat, but I really enjoy having this card. And uh, he might be another guy if he continues to do well that I, I draft, kind of like Travis Shaw. And now I'm going to continue to draft him. So in future drafts, I'm really going to have to remember uh, to look for Willie Calhoun in my gold rounds. There we go. That's exactly how his hit was in the last game. A little bit more in the middle of the hole, but still getting in that hole in between the second and first baseman. Jeff Mathis now sending one up the middle. Uh, we're not going to... I was going to try to send him to third, get runners on the corners. Looking at this, we would have been safe, but 50 speed is just not super fast. Michael Bourne. Oh, I thought he was going to send one into the outfield. I'm pretty sure that's how the last game went. Uh, someone got like a true RBI hit into the outfield. I don't know if it was him. Cody Allen up to bat now. I think I'm going to take him out. So let's see who has the best contact versus righties. Um, whoever has 62 right here. So it's Ryan McCohen, 66 overall. Our bench really isn't that good. Ryan McCohen's going to come in lefty on lefty to get... Or le oh, wait, no, it's lefty on lefty. I'm so stupid, man. I didn't know there was a lefty on the mound. I mean, I did, but I didn't process it. So now Byung-Ho Park is coming in. And uh, righty for his lefty. We're three outs away from getting the victory. So we already have the lead, which is good. And now we would like to get some insurance runs. Two down in the second inning. Two runners on. Young ho Park pinch hitting. Probably going to bring in Peter Moylan in the top of the inning. I really thought that hit my batter. Uh, probably going to bring in Peter Moylan uh, to try and get the save. Young ho Park grounding it out. We're three outs away. Let's go 2-0. We really can't allow a run. All right. He has a righty, which is the pitcher, I think. Tony Perez. No, Glenn Perkins. Why did I think Tony Perez was the pitcher? So he has a righty Tony Perez and then lefty Glenn Perkins and then lefty D Gordon. And then uh, we might have to end up facing Ted Williams, depending on how the inning goes. I would love to get a 1-2-3 inning, but this is going to be tough. Yo, what's up, Michael? Shout out to you. I hope you enjoy seeing yourself in the video. One ounce. So we're two ounce away now from being 2-0. I think tomorrow we're probably going to do another Battle Royale video. I want to get some ranked seasons going again this week. I really enjoyed making that ranked seasons video for you guys. But I want to just continue this team, maybe try and carry the momentum if we do go 2-0 in this video, which I, I think we will and I hope we will. But I really tomorrow want to go 4-0. I, re I really want to win the games tomorrow. I don't want to lose either one of them just because we always seem to lose one in our first, like, three or four games so i don't want that to be the case in this br oh no jock peterson tying the game bro i hung a slider that's the pitching mistakes that i was talking about that i can't be making that cannot be happening i don't even know oh man i should have just thrown like a change of outside or something now he's getting a base hit top of the third inning not going very well for us Alex Bregman now sending it the other way. That's going to score a run. He's probably going to take the lead here with 98 speed on the bases. That really sucks. 
Yep, there it is. And now 99 Ted Williams up to bat. Wow. And Ted Williams grounds out to second base. That's the second out of the inning. He scored two runs in the inning, though. I think I got a little bit too confident. I def I hung a slider, which tied the game, and then I'm just not making very good or very smart pitches. And uh, he's taking the lead. 3-1. to one. So it's going to be a tough bottom of the third inning. It's going to be a really tough bottom of the inning. Come on, get the out, get the out, get the out. Finally getting out of the inning, but not before three runs were allowed. We're down by two. We're three outs away from losing. He came back and scored three in the inning. Why can't we come back and score three in the inning? We have the top of our lineup up to bat. Honestly, if Jose Bautista gets on base right here, I think we tie the game. Just because Travis Shaw, I'm confident in him. I've been playing well with him. And uh, we just got to take it one batter at a time, though. Jose Bautista, it's your turn. One pitch, one batter at a time. Let's get on base. Jose Bautista. Travis Shaw. Well, we're one out away, guys. We're one out away from starting off one and one. I was so confident in this team. I was so confident that I was going to win this game. And uh, it's just really all gone to crap. We're, that's the final line of the game. We lost. We're one and one. I don't, I don't even know what else to say. I'm mad at myself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. We're like 50 subscribers away from 11,000. Man, that's absolutely nuts. And then comment down below for a chance to have that comment shout out of the day uh, all i want to say is i'm mad at myself um pitching lost me another game and then i got impatient at the plate obviously uh, i was swinging at the first pitch over your bat but pitching lost me that game it, it, it pretty much loses me every game that i lose it's, it's never a case of i mean obviously there's games where i can't hit but majority of the time when i lose it's because of mistakes made when pitching um and I don't really know how to fix that besides playing more. Maybe I just really need to, like, see, this makes me want to redraft. Obviously, I'm going to see how far I can get with this team. Uh, who knows? Maybe tomorrow's video, we're just going to see how far we can get in the video. But something needs to change, man. Something with my pitching needs to change. If you guys have any tips, seriously, leave them down below. Biggest thing, though, I think, is I just need to slow it down and really pay attention to the situation and the pitch that I'm making every single pitch just really stay focused whenever I'm pitching hope you guys enjoyed the video I'll see you next time thank you again so much for watching peace out